Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and today we are going to be playing a game called Night in the Woods. Now I see there's a little leaf there that says if on it, and I don't know what that's about. Honestly, I don't know a lot about what this game is about. Um, going into this one pretty blind. All that I do know is that it's very character driven and the visuals look gorgeous. And those are kind of, you know, two big things for me when it comes to games. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Starting up a new game. Anyone else excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Alright, in the year Granddad died. We had the worst flood since 1998. There are arrows though. Can I choose something? The highway extension came. We, okay, um... Let's have, let's have a flood. I can relate to floods. Or at least hurricanes. We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. Oh no, poor Greg. The power has uh, the power was out for two days. Not too bad. Casey Hartley came by in Dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. Awesome. He loved ghost stories. Go, Granddad, and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They were looking for the gods, in their wings, in their trees. They feared death. I'm not sure what this is going to lead to. I don't know. Let's go with they feared death. That seems like it'll lead us to something deep. Uh, yep. So they ate the young. Jesus! <laughs> On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window. At the old parking lots, at the old playground, at the old trains, at the empty mill. Um, let's go with the train. Golly, this is kind of depressing. Like, I kind of understand what some of them might be. I'm not sure what parking lot could be, but, you know, old playground could be, like, longing for childhood. Trains could be longing for travel. Empty mill work, maybe. I don't know. Let's go with trains. Um, rattling to somewhere else, from somewhere else. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Well, that's just depressing. Oh, okay, now wait, is that a train or a bus? <laughs> Either way, it's not very happy. That's unfortunate. Well, this is great. Is this us? Historic Possum Springs. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Oh, you're, you're a girl. Okay. I thought you were... What the fuck is that? Wow, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. D does Possum Springs suck? What's this? It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents. But some jerkle took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? I don't know. Now, I'm wondering if this is modern or if it's supposed to be kind of... Because they did say cell phones, but we still have payphones. So early 2000s, maybe? I'm not sure if this is trying to tell a story or not. Well, I mean, you know, like a real story or, you know, some fiction thing. Okay, Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. It's one sexy ass fox. Look at that little heart thing going up. Just popping that can of soda. Even the soda cans love them. All right, what else do we got? Ooh, Garbo and Malloy. Can we watch it? Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up! Yay! I'm looking at a chart and I'm it's pretty impressive. I mean, I'm impressive too, but you know. The economy added 15,000 jobs, mostly in the chart sector. Which is notoriously recession-proof. Amazing, yay! My, my, Garbo, we got a little political there. <laughs> Gotta get political every now and then. Is this any importance? Should I keep watching? I went on one of those internet dates last weekend. Or last week. Oh? Is that so? Yeah, the internet is truly given lover. 
Oh, um, I, I don't think that one went too well, Molloy. <laughs> um, hey, any lovely ladies out there looking for an eligible bachelor? Get in touch! I'm sorry, I have my heart set on a fox out there. Um, how, how are you, how are you doing? Brush Valley, Fort Lucian, Stanton Town, Bright Harbor, whatever. Uh, how, how are you doing, Mr., uh, excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45, it's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. Well then, isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? So, are you the janitor or something? I guess I would expect, like, a receptionist or something. Closed. Uh, why are the lights on? Why is the TV on, then? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. Well. I mean, I'm here. You don't really need them on, but... Well, can I leave? Can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done so I can get on with my life here, man? Right after you go and grab me a fiascola from the machine. Are you holding me hostage for a soda? Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free then? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. But well, you're kind of awesome. <laughs> okay. Free sodas for everybody who stays after hours. Uh, what the? They have lime f yeah, fiasco and he wants a fiascola? What? That's just a waste. Did, did he ask for lime? Oh, it plays music when it <laughs> dispenses sodas. Awesome. Okay, just gotta grab it. Just gotta stick my hand in there. My little palm, I mean. I don't have hands. No thumbs either. Oh, I can... <laughs> Whee! Oh, oh, oh. Gotta get... Just, okay, right there. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was the point? I bet that's going to come into gameplay later. Seems like fun. Alright, here you go, your freaking lime fiascola. One free ass cola! <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Yummers. Wait. Why is he. Did he need to pre drill? Yum. Okay, whatever. Yummers. Yeah. So, what are you doing here? I, I live here, I think. Well, lived here. I, I'm visiting, I suppose. Oh, strange. Um, when do you think the door is going to be finished? Now. Goodbye. Did you just... Uh, bye. How the hell did you fix a door with a pre-drill? I'm... I'm so confused. <laughs> that shouldn't... That's not how... That's not how drills work, game, but... Okay. Because it had to be a pre-drill if he was just stabbing open the cola like that. I'm so... Whatever. Okay, we got a bus station. Well, um, I'm not walking back out to the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? I am I stalking janitors now? Oh, what's this? What's so important here? Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking alone. What jerkwad parents just leaving their kid out in the cold? How old is this person? This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Yes, they got state funding or something. So that's very nice. It makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Ooh, abandoned glass factory? You wanna go exploring if we're getting spooky in here? Not getting rid of that anytime soon. I don't know, an abandoned glass factory sounds dangerous. <laughs> Ooh, kicking up the leaves. I kicked up- <gasps> Oh, that's fun! Oh, look, a train! We were after a train. Oh, uh, wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. Reminds me of my grandmother's house. She is right by the railroad tracks, and- it gets loud. <laughs> um, well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. 
into the woods with us then, my bed, and my negligent parents, who left me alone at a bus station. Oh well, into the woods! <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics to the song, unfortunately. Oh well, let's hope we don't run into any uh, weirdly molesty werewolves or such. Or just normal wolves, I suppose. Ugh, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. This doesn't seem like a safe path to go, kitten. We can jump! Holy crap! Awesome. It's very much littered here. You wanna help out this, Sunny? There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Okay, so there's the park and there's the mill. Uh, looks like they lost a log load at some point. <sighs> Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Wee! Seems like fun. In a VN. Glass of... Oh, class of 99. Um. That looks bright and red. Ooh. This seems dangerous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I get it. This might be a bad idea. Whoop! Yeah, bad idea. You good? Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. Oh, that was amazing, though. I am not going to die in this hole. Woo, that's the spirit. Let's get moving. <laughs> Can I climb on top of things now? Oh, there we go. So I did need to break. Oh, okay. Whew. There we go. We got some more broken... Oh no, those are just, those are leaves. Alright, we got an RT and we got a MRF. I don't know, those are probably not of any importance outside of normal graffiti, but you'd never be too sure. Oop, something to stare at. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. And apparently no one else has. Oh, so you are probably pretty grown. Probably. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell with you and your animal spirit. I don't know, I kind of figured teenager because of that whole, oh, the fox so dreamy thing, but, you know, that can go for adults too. Um, I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat or castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Are you talking about your... I'm curious. <laughs> Do you mean, like, people getting it on in there, or do you mean, like, actual animals? In which case, how do you have animals when you are all animals? wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, mystery beasts of all shape. What does it mean? Can we get in? Oh, yeah, we can get in. Oh, well, that's fun. What's this? Looks like the ladder's gone. If I could just get to the top of this, ugh. Well, I think we have met up. Oh, nope, screwed it over. <laughs> I have a solution, perhaps. Oh, okay. I see. I thought that was like another thing to jump on. Apparently, it is not. Boop, 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 boop. Can I? <laughs> hmm. Maybe it is. No, it totally isn't. Okay. What am I what am I looking for here? Maybe I'm jumping back towards the ship? Nope. I don't know. One second. Okay, I just accidentally just gotta run and then keep bouncing. One, two, three. No stopping. Third jump was usually the big one. It's physics or something. Oh, I see. Okay, I s it said something there. I, I Sorry about that. I should have probably read that out loud, but I was I thought it was nothing for a minute. Okay, so it was saying something about logs and other kids. I'm not sure. There we go! Yeah, combo jump there. Woo! It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground Possum Springs, I mean. Um... This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Oh, okay. Rest in peace, Granddad. Your parents forgot you! What a wonderfully happy squid. Me, or May, and B. 
She's artsy, or is it a he? I'm not sure. Oh, those are just our options. No, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to mess with my thing. Okay, there we go. All right, rest in peace, granddad. Next, space, escape. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, here's a power line. Should, should I use it? Let's go home. Oh my goodness. Kid, you are amazing. <laughs> Well, I guess it makes sense, seeing as they're a cat. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. I wish- Wait, it said May, so I'm assuming Gr- Hi! Hello, May. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? Right, you're rather calm after this face button in front of a cop. I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So, what you gonna do about it? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? Maybe. No. <laughs> I, I'm going to assume it's a girl with the name May. I can't be sure, but I'm just going to assume it. Oh, bless this mess. Take it that was probably our dad, maybe? Hey, remember me? I don't know. This looks like it could be a dad. Could be mom. Um... Ugh, May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. Are you mom or dad? What are you doing? Oh. May, honey. We thought you were coming tomorrow night. Ah, uh, you thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested by my other parent. By Aunt Mallcob. Oh. So that was our aunt. Okay, I thought that was a man. <laughs> Okay, very, very manly voice. Oh, goodness. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? Is this our dad or our mom? I can't tell genders of cats. I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still there? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Ah, oh, May, so good to hear that voice again. Good night. <laughs> Wow, you, you really suck. Are you my dad? Are you my mom? What are you? What are you people? <laughs> I don't understand cat people. Alright. I, I guess I'm going to bed. Yeah, I'm just flying up those stairs. Alright, what do I got here? Okay, that was a dad. Alright, maybe I can give that one a bit. <laughs> I'm mixing up everybody's genders. Ah, uh, there are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. That sounds fascinating. What's this? Whoop! Ah, it appears to be some kind of closet thing. I'd actually like to look in there again. Whoop, whoop. What the hell? Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? Wonder if Dad could move them. Well, I guess he'll have to, because I can't. Can't do anything about that. All right. What else do we have going for us? All right, so glasses is Dad, pink is Mom. Uh, androgynous is us, so, as well as our aunt, apparently, but still. Uh, is Mom upstairs? Is Mama Cat there? I need to get these voices right, or it's just going to be awkward in the future. All right, so witch tag, guitar. What are you, May? Just tell me what you are. Good night. <laughs> May tomorrow be better. Now that they've actually prepared for you, I suppose. Did they tell everyone that she was coming tomorrow, or he? That May? We're just going to call it May from now on. I'm honestly not sure. Come on, May. Up and at him. Kitty cat, move it. Yeah, wake the hell up. Gotta get those shoes on before you get out of bed. Are you gonna change any? No? No, no clean clothes for you. You're a rebel like that, ain't ya? <sighs> Gonna be a smelly kitty. Did I look at this? I was so cute then. We are all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have a traveling show, the cute, oh, the cute something. Damn it. 
This is what I get for overlooking things. This thing goes off randomly every month or so. Little one duck pops out and makes the weirdest sound. Scares dad half to death every time. I guess our dad's jumpy. He used to joke it was granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. Damn me. <laughs> Still not moving, huh? Okay. What else do we got going for us out here? Oh, look, there's a bird. We jump over to that side? Oh, we can! Sweet! Oh, did not mean to get up there. How is this bird still alive? You'd be surprised. I had a bird that was partially eaten by a dog that survived. At one point or another. Let's see. It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that apple crate as of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesbury. The fancy corpse. Hell, Mole Stevenson. Uh, Necropus. Book the first. Lady Shark. The Stoat on Gallows Hill. It is stout, right? I, I know what it's supposed to be, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it, honey. Yeah. Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. I don't know who you are. Okay. Is this dad? Is this mom? What are you? I'm going to say mom. Hello, mother. How are you today? Doing good? Hi, mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Ah, thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry, we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, mom. May, honey? Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, things are good, mom. I had a choice there. Well, I mean, it was a bit alarming to your father and I when you called. I assumed that something was very wrong. No, it just didn't work out at school is all. What does that mean, honey? Can we talk about this another time? I'm going for college student now. I'm sure, hun. Or ex-college student. Thanks, mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon, up in town center west by Click Clack. I think I'll run over and say, hey, we have a Snack Falcon now? I, I think I'll say hi. Why would I care about the Snack Falcon? Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore. See what's changed. I, I will. Just watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be Fall and Possum Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll, I'll be back later. I'll see what's festive about construction, but whatever. Bye, sweetie. Bye, mama. Ooh, we got new things in our book. book. There we go. Mom and dad looks older. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, this would have been helpful earlier, May, so I could actually know what a dad looked like. <laughs> Bless this mess. Part one, home again. So we're going to see somebody called Greg now. I'm going to assume Greg's a guy. Don't prove me wrong with this game. Oh, squirrel! <gasps> kill, kill, kill! Wait, FBI freeze. Yeah, you guys go! So squirrels are not... Oh my god, like, it's just, it's a squirrel. I'm coming after you, squirrel! <laughs> wait, you have to wait up! That's neat, it kind of took us somewhere, but... <laughs> Where did it go? That's so nuts. Okay, we, we gotta get down from here. There we go. What? Neat. Okay, um, you're, you're a goat. I'm sorry, I was distracted by the squirrel. I was surprised to see that, you know, some animals aren't actually squirrel! <laughs> and actually, people animals. How, how are you doing, Mr. Goat? Hi, Mr. Twigmeyer. May, is that you? Um, yep, nope, totally not sure is. I'm not going to be a jerk to you. You home for a visit? No, I'm home for good. What? They not have college anymore? Ah, uh, nope, burned down. Not for me, at least. Ah, uh, not for me. Not for me today. I always thought you'd either go on to do great things, or sit on your ass here until it put down roots. Ass roots. <laughs> yes, I can settle that one in my mind. Hmm. See you around then? Have a good day, Mr. Twigmire. I just want to catch that squirrel. Do you think I can catch it? 
It probably just circles. Come back, squirrel! Come back! <laughs> I don't know why that thing has me so obsessed. Ah! Ooh, I, I didn't see anything! <laughs> just breaking mailboxes. Actually, I want to go see if I can actually break the mailbox. <laughs> might be wrong, might be bad, but I, I just want to know. I could break the tree thing before. Ah, no, I can only hit it once. Alright. Yep, only hit it once. And can't land on fire hydrants. Whatever. Let's go see the rough part of town. Look at this stoop kid sitting on a stoop. What you got, stoop kid? What, what, what makes you so great? Silmers! What are you doing, home? Dropped out! Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just don't go back? That's about it. <laughs> Weird. Hey, is that all? So, it has an acorn! So, anything else, Summers? So, how have you been? Just reconnecting with people. Okay. Me and Dennis split up. Oh, you're a girl. God damn it. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Me and Dennis split up. Oh no. Yeah, he got a job at the new prison over in Brittle. And he met some girl at a gas station. Wow, what a jerk. Uh, he's a free agent. I guess. Good good for him. Okay, you! You look like a man! Can I, can I safely assume you're, you're manly? Or manish? I can't talk to you, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Okay, what about you, Mr. Crow? Uh, I'm assuming, Mr. She's wearing pink. That should have been my hand, but the Somers name threw me off. Hello. What you doing on my porch? I'm just talking. Oh, okay, I can't talk to you then. And how about you? Hey, Mr. Chazko Chazokov. Um, hello, May, my best was student. I don't know Russian accents. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. Like the constellations, hated the school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Balsam Springs? I, I dropped out of school. I'm sure that's making you very proud as a teacher. Oh. Well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Uh, should have my new telescope set up by then. Sure, sure thing. Um, this guy is just, like, completely out. I wonder if I can get to that gravestone. Nope, okay, it's just there to mock me. I can probably get up on that wire, though. What? Nope, bad idea. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's continue on walking on two feet like a normal cat. I mean, it's not really normal for a cat, is it? What's in here? I remembered when Bia's family had a house and not a tiny, dress depressing apartment. That one has a... Ooh! I can climb on this. Ah, bad idea! <laughs> oh, well. Um... Are you giving me a hint here? Hey, how you children doing? I mean, I'm not much taller than you, but... Yeah, okay, how are you guys doing? Hey, it's the Harleys! What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest! Oh, wow, kids still talk about Little Joe. We used your DNA! Do you kids know what DNA is? Ghosts don't have DNA. Um, ghosts don't have DNA, kiddos. They, they are just kind of spectral things. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA! Hey, lady, can you leave us alone? Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady? Oh, do they not recognize you? Yeah, well, screw you, kids. Mike, seriously, am I so different? Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman? Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh, no, that's awful. They say construction's always hiring, but it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. Uh, what are, what are you going to do now? I'm open to suggestions if you got any for me. Uh, don't give up! I'm sure someone in town is hiring. Golly, none of these are good answers. Uh, let's go with the generic. I've been out of work for a year before. And this is the only... And this time I only lasted six months before being laid off. Do you know what that does to a resume? 
not really. Probably doesn't look good if you're getting laid off all the time. I have a zombie resume. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. Oh. Well. That's your problem. Or, I don't know, I could still talk to you a little more. Anything else? I don't have a job either. Ah, oh, man. Sorry to talk your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good. Just dropped out of college. I'm living with my parents. Oh. Yep. Both of us kind of sucked that way. So, you're basically a teenager again. No. <laughs> I'm just an adult living with her parents. You're a girl! Yes! Finally confirmation! Oh. Okay. So, it's not like you're unemployed. It's like you're lacking a daytime hobby. That pays money you don't need for rent. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Yeah. Mr. Judgy. I want to get to uh, whoever Greg is before we end the episode, so... She's just going to be stretching this out a little bit longer. Should be getting close, right? I don't think they just have us blow on through. Can I talk to you? Nope, you're just making your way downtown. Alright. Town center platform. Let's let's go to. There's so much to see. Oh, okay, you're cooking back there. It's <laughs> like a little weird. Uh pretzel pyrogi. Can I can I just snatch one? Delicious pretzels. Delicious pretzels. Okay. I guess I don't have a jump. Hey, I just got back in town, and the one thing I missed most was, hey, I remember you. Hello? Thief! Oh, come on, that was years ago! Once a thief, always a thief! Alright, you know what? I'm not a thief, you take that back. This isn't even a restaurant. I, I, this isn't even a restaurant, I'm totally not a thief. It's a crappy food stand in a hole. This establishment has been here and been in business for 50 years. 50 crappy years in a hole. You know what else has been in a hole for 50 years? Dead people from the 60s. No respect. No respect this one. Uh, you can keep your hole pretzels and your damn pierogies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go jump in the river. No. Actually, I'm going to take one of these. Delicious pretzels. Okay. Guess not. Kind of wanted to live up to the thief thing, but I guess that's not going to be a thing. And I cannot jump on tables. I'm getting so excited. What else we got down here? We got more Mertz. You guys look like a tough bunch. Uh, I'm actually supposed to be seeing somebody called Greg, so I'll be back for the rest of you guys. Kind of run short on time. Wee! But golly, isn't this imagery just like gorgeous? I can see these just being paintings on the wall. It's cute, it's nice. It's a very lovely palette. Also very pretty music. It's just, it's nice. I like the title screen music, I like this music, it's all good. Ooh, can we grab whatever this is? Come on, what is it? No, I didn't, okay. Um, Harfest, Possum Springs Annual Harvest Stacular. Celebrate the fall colors with your neighbors. Rides, contest foods, and the Animal Crazy Costume Parade. That sounds like fun. Oh, do I have to hold it? Eh. Eh. Oh, I have to move things. <gasps> Is that a piece of- Oh, well, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? But I want it. Yay! Ah! Oh man, it bounces! Oh my goodness, it's string! 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 I wonder if I can just toss it. Whoop! Uh, no, but just. Okay, whatever. Missing. Casey Hartley, 19 of Possum Springs, the Nutter Cat. Last seen at dusk on June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and a black canvas shoes. If you have any information on Casey Hartley at any time since his known sighting, please contact the Possum Springs Police Department. Can I move this? No, I'm just moving random things around. Katie Washington has never lost a child. Well, good for Katie Washington. Am I supposed to be doing something with this? Or is it just fun to move crap around? 
Oh, well, I guess it's kind of fun to move crap around. I wonder if I can bring them up. No? Eh, oh well. <laughs> that was a waste of time, but still! We found out that somebody's missing. Maybe that'll be a mystery for us to solve. I honestly don't know if this is supposed to be, like, anything intense, or if it's just supposed to be a slice of life kind of game. What the ever-loving hell is this? <laughs> that's a cat in there! It's a cat that's the base keeping as a pet! This just feels so weird! This feels wrong and weird! This is like people just had, like, stupid babies! And they were just sitting in windows or something, and they're keeping them as pets! It's just, it doesn't make sense! Squirrel, explain it to me! Um, but honey, you're only going to get, mm, what? And I hear they're murder. Murder? What do you mean murder? This place is murder! What are you guys talking about? I don't think I can handle one more incoming call. Tell us off? I wake up sometimes because I hear that bing noise. You guys are just talking about things. Market house, possum springs. Oh, goodness. You know what? Big skeleton. I'm going to explore this area in the next episode. I don't think we're getting any closer to Greg just yet. <laughs> But so far, it seems really cool. I just want to chase squirrels all day and wonder about cats and windows. Like, I don't know. It seems interesting so far. We haven't really gotten anything, you know, too strong plot-wise. But again, I don't know if it's going to be that type of game or not. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, <laughs> golly, this, these squirrels and cats are just kind of freaking me out ever so slightly. It just feels wrong somehow. But yeah, so far... It l looks good. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm a little, you know, thrown off by the genders of some things, because, again, they're just cat animal, 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 eh. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, animal people kind of thing, and it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, is that raccoon pregnant? I think that raccoon's pregnant. I wish I could talk to the people walking by. They seem very interesting. But, um, yeah. I don't know, so the only thing I'm having trouble with is trying to tell the genders apart, and that's kind of screwing around with the voices and everything, but other than that, it seems like it's going to be interesting. Yeah, so until next episode, um, like and subscribe if you guys want to, and maybe we will understand the mysteries of the weird pet cat. So until then, uh, thank you for watching.